there's a debate in the community about this topic of do I put my data in one place and run all my functions there, or do I use single purpose databases for every person? So I have a machine learning database, a spatial database, a graph database. So there's a big debate that's going on. And we have a pretty, pretty uh, strong position on this debate, as you can imagine. <laughs> so I want to introduce the concept of a converged product, uh, because that's what we're talking about here. And the analogy that I use here is a smartphone. So it used to be that if you wanted to make phone calls, you had a phone. If you want to do photos, you got a digital camera. If you want to do music, you got a musical device. So all these things and many more were separate products. And they, you had to buy each of them and you use them. But that's changed now. So what's happened is all these products have gone into one converged product, which is a smartphone. So there are really features of a smartphone now. And what I'm talking about here is it's the same thing happening in the data management world. So when machine learning first came out, when JSON first came out, when blockchain first came out, it came out as a completely separate product. Hey, you want blockchain, you use an entirely different blockchain system, different way of developing, different way of storing data, different way of accessing data, all proprietary. Same thing with machine learning, same thing with JSON. Hey, you need a JSON database. You can't use a regular database. But what's happened now and what I've talked about is these things are being converged into a converged product. So they're really features of a converged database now. And there's two giant benefits here. One is it's just a lot simpler. It's inherently simpler to have one product. It's just like one smartphone is a lot simpler than carrying 10 devices around and plugging them all in and powering them all and recharging them and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but there's a second uh, benefit, which is a little more subtle, which is the synergy. By having all these things in one phone, like the music can now stream from the internet because it's part of one thing. That the the, uh, the, mu the you know you get all these benefits from combining these features into one. And the same thing happens with a converged database. If you can run machine learning and spatial and blockchain, then you get machine learning on spatial data and you get blockchain protection of that whole thing. So you get synergies across these features by making them and putting them into one converged product. And that's where, that's where our primary focus is. Although we support special purpose databases, our primary focus is create a converged product that's much simpler, much easier to adopt, much easier for developers. So, and this is somewhere where we, a place where we stand in opposition in a different place from some of our competitors. So if you look at what Amazon and a lot of niche database uh, vendors say, they say, you should run a single purpose database, and almost all those are proprietary databases for each data type and workload. So it's a separate database for machine learning, for spatial, for graph, for everything. Uh, we say run a converged open database that does it all. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about two or three quick, uh, quick benefits of this, which are mostly pretty obvious. If you think about this, this is kind of a no-brainer decision. Uh, one thing is for developers, it's dramatically simpler to develop using a converged database. So if I have a database and I need to do some spatial operation, find, this guy wants to buy this widget, where's the closest location you can get that widget? It's much simpler to just call a, a, a spatial query inside that same database than it is to stand up a separate spatial database, move all the customer data into there, move all the real-time inventory in it, keep it up to date constantly, keep it synchronized with all the other databases, manage it, do all that stuff. Much simpler, just call the spatial query in the database. So for developers, this is a no-brainer because creating this distributed execution data movement, extremely complex. Also, on the management side, once you've created all these plethora of specialized databases, you kind of have a nightmare going forward. So every step is simple. You say, oh yeah, I need spatial, let me just stand up this guy. Oh, I need machine learning, let's do it. I need JSON, let's do this. Oh, I need, I need graph, let's do that. Every time you take that step, it's a simple step. But now you have to manage these for the rest of your life. Uh, you have to make them all highly available, secure, scalable. Every one of them is different. Everyone manages different, everyone secures different, the models are different. It's a nightmare for IT. So we stand pretty clearly on this, that it's much simpler on the converged database side, and that's what we're working on. 